Hey friends, welcome back to Millennial Realtor Monday. Woo woo. All right, so today we're talking about should I go ahead and buy now or wait? All right, so by the end of this video, you'll know just that. But if you're new here, I am Kira Ford. My channel talks about real estate tips and tricks, dance, fitness go-tos, and much, much more. All right, now let's get into this. Should I buy now or wait? So guys, we're gonna talk about if you decide to buy now. If you decide to buy now, you need to make sure that you have a stable income. You wanna make sure that you have, um, you know, you're gonna live in this house for at least five plus years, just because we don't know where the economy's going. I know Corona's going on. And we wanna make sure that, you know, you're gonna get into it and wanna hold it for at least five years. Also, savings. Make sure you have at least a down payment. Um, you don't wanna get into something and don't have savings because I mean, no one could have ever expected Corona to come and stay for so long. So, so always having a savings. And then of course, is your mortgage gonna be cheaper than your rent? Because we don't wanna you know, up your expenses if you don't have to. So if all of those things line up with your life and you, know, you have that stable income, you have savings, and you know that you know, you're getting a good deal, I don't think I said that, but make sure you're actually getting a good deal. Just because interest rates are low doesn't mean you're getting a great deal on the house. Because right now it is a seller's market, just heads up with that, okay? So let's do a real quick recap for now. Stable income, down payment or some kind of savings for emergency fund, and make sure that whenever you do decide to buy, the mortgage payment is hopefully less than up, less than rent or just the same, okay? Now let's move on to if you decide to wait. Okay guys, so for my people who are deciding to wait. So if you're waiting, you should be waiting for, I would say, you know, more inventory because right now our inventory is super low. So we really wanna get more homes on the market. A lot of people were waiting for foreclosure. So I will tell you this, the coronavirus is not gonna affect the economy like it did in 2008 when the, when the house crash happened because people are going to sell their house before foreclosures come. So if you don't know, when it comes to a foreclosure, you have about six months until they actually foreclose on your home. So most sellers or most homeowners are gonna sell before they get to that foreclosure time. So if you're waiting on foreclosures, I wouldn't necessarily bank on that. Also, a lot of people are waiting because of um, deals. They feel like they're gonna get a better deal, like I said, because of foreclosures or they're unemployed. So you definitely wanna be employed <laughs> because you wanna be able to afford what you're getting into. And then another thing that a lot of people are doing are they're waiting because they're, they're, they're nervous. They think that, um, <laughs> I don't know, they're just, they're just fear. Also check out my, my video about the most common fears when it comes to buying a house. So once again, I would only wait to buy a house if you're unemployed and you're trying to get your, your employment situation better. If you're trying to have more inventory come on the market so you have more of a choice, I wouldn't bank on the foreclosures because I just don't know where we're gonna really be. I do think foreclosures will come. I just don't think there'll be as many as 2008. And the last thing that I forgot to mention before was in this time of waiting, learn how to fix things because when you do buy a house that is foreclosed or a home that is a better deal, most likely it's gonna be as is. So you're gonna to have to do a lot of fixing of your, you know, fixing on your own. So in this time of waiting, learn how to do some, you know, DUIs. Is it DUIs? Mm -hmm. uh, do it yourself. Yeah. Um, so make sure you uh, learn how to do those. But anyways, I hope this brings you some value, guys. You know my mission it is to help millennials and first-time home buyers create that generational wealth one home at a time. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're looking for a house, I'm your realtor. I'll see you next time. Mwah.